Hi, this is Jay uh, from the Flow community. Hey, I'm Norbert, also from the Flow community. And uh, today we're uh, still at DroidCon uh, at the Flutter coffee table where we don't have coffee but water instead because coffee is way too hot in this weather. True. I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm here with Norbert. Why uh, don't you tell us who you are? Um, yeah, uh, so my name is Norbert. I'm a Flutter developer, a student, and yeah. That's that sums it up. Yeah. <laughs> that's why. Okay, uh, so how are you active in the, in the Flutter world at the moment? So, at the very beginning, I actually started with writing articles in Medium. Um, I still occasionally write an article, but not as active as I used to be. Uh, at some point, I switched more to making packages, mm -hmm. at least a bunch. And now I'm more known for the work I've been doing on the Widget Maker and on the crazy ideas of making Flutter run with Flutter. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Cool. So, tell me a little bit more about Widget Maker. So, the Widget Maker is a project I've been pursuing for about four or five months now. Going through ideation, trying things out, building a few projects and just playing with the idea. And yeah, so right now uh, it's the second version actually. Like uh, the first version, um, I re rebuilt it, I re uh, rewritten it. Um, and yeah, so right now I'm working on the ability to Combine code and visual interface uh, into one, like without even even um, noticing the difference between am I writing code now or am I using some sort of interface to edit the code. Oh, um, and yeah, that's that's the main point of work right now. Okay. Um, in general, Widget Maker is um, IDE sort of thing, mm -hmm. so a Widget Builder, which builds widgets using visual interface. I can drag and drop things in. You can change properties, you can wrap stuff, remove stuff, and do all sorts of fun stuff you, you do in code normally. Okay, so can I imagine it as sort of a what you see is what you get editor for Flutter? Yeah. Okay. Totally, yeah. Um, with later, the idea is that you also um, have some sort of logic in there, so you're able to also edit and visualize logic you have and combine it with the code and the visual editing and all the stuff. Okay, interesting. So that will be uh, the next release? Something along those lines? Yeah, so what I'm working on right now is just, I, I've posted an update on Twitter about Swift UI and Flutter. Um, so it's not completely finished yet, so I've made a proof of concept with a few widgets. I'm currently working on making this available for all the widgets and work in all scenarios. So I hope I'll be able to have something which uh, is usable in the next couple of weeks. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you've also done some packages, is that right? Yeah, quite a few. I think I can't even remember them all. Like, I've done quite a few packages in, in um, animations. Like, okay. uh, I'm the guy, I love animations, I love fancy colors and buttons and fancy stuff graphics. lying around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, started, I think sequence animation was one of the first things when I was really annoyed with the staggered animation where you had to deal with percentages and some of specifi specified animation this way. Um, on top of that, I built villains later on, which allowed you to make transitional effects. For example, when you open a page, uh, you, were able, or you are able to wrap a widget in a villain and it automatically animates in as the page opens. Like it's an excellent animation to the hero. Oh, okay. Also a fun little package I did, which was actually used on Florida Live on stage, was oh, okay. uh, pin my button. Okay. Uh, Emily used it at the very end when the timer went down and fireworks started. Um, yeah, it was pin my button. It's basically confetti and colorful buttons and cool stuff. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So what do you want to do in the future? Maybe after you graduate or while you're still studying? It's a good question. Like, I'd say I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like trying things out, maybe starting something on my own, building something working on great stuff. Uh, definitely something with Flutter. Like Flutter is, in my opinion, in the future and there's a lot of potential. Like it's still evolving and it's so exciting that a lot is happening. Like Fusia isn't even out yet and Fusia, Fusia is going to use Flutter and it's, it, may, it has the potential to be huge. And so many things, especially also for web and development, uh, for desktop, definitely. which are still in the making. And, I mean, just, just so cool. Awesome. Well, uh, yeah, thank you for being here. I, uh, thank you for having I'd me. I'd love to see what you, uh, what you have in the future for us.
Thanks. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch more about the Flutter community and the, and the coffee table and all of that, uh, just click the links uh, around my face here. And uh, thank you for being here. They're everywhere. I'm being, I'm being flabbergasted. Nice. <laughs>